Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for August of 2019. This month, uh, we're going to see the beginning of the month, a lot of activity in the sign of Leo, which is going to shift then into a lot of activity in the sign of Virgo, mm -hmm. creating a really different vibe. Um, Natha and Julie are going to talk about the details in a moment, but before they do, I want to give you some dates when some of these shifts are going to happen so that you can be listening for them. Um, at the beginning of the month, Mercury will be still moving slowly and recovering from last month's Mercury retrograde period, so there may still be some cleanup to do, but Mercury will speed up as the month goes on, and that's always good news for you, Gemini. You always uh, feel like yourself so much more when Mercury is moving ahead forward and at speed. Uh, also, Uranus is going to go retrograde on August 11th. That may cause a little bit of drama, and uh, Mars is going to move into Virgo on the 17th. Venus will move into Virgo on the 21st, and then there's a full moon and new moon. Uh, Julia, what would you like to say about this month for Gemini? Well, hey, Gemini. Um, so the big shifts that are happening for you this month are going to be going from the third to the fourth house. Uh, lots of inner planets are moving in that direction. Um, and the third house, let's start with that. The third house, it can represent your, your neighborhood, your local surroundings. It's the house of communication. Uh, it's the house of siblings as well. Um, so when Mars is in this house, um, it's a time of expending lots of energy in, into your communications in general. Um, um, and you also might be a little extra busy, kind of moving around your neighborhood, running errands, um, having chats with neighbors, or just going out for little weekend trips. Mm. Because the third house is the house of short journeys versus long journeys, which is the ninth house. And then when Mars actually goes into the fourth, um, you're going to be much more inclined to spend more time at home. Um, you could also be uh, putting a lot of effort into home improvement projects, um, but there could be a, a slight caution around uh, getting into disputes and disagreements, disagreements also with family members or anyone that you're living with. Natha, what are you saying? Yeah, so... You know, we're talking about this transition between the third and the fourth house. And obviously for you, Gemini, the third house is a far more comfortable place to be. It's it's more natural. All of this communicating and getting to bounce around ideas, and that is very fun and stimulating. And when things begin to move into the fourth house, there's a little bit of a heavier feeling, not not, you know, that things will feel bad, but it's there's a little bit more of a call to um to sort of be one, so to speak, with your emotions. And that's not always the most fun for you because you really prefer to rest on the surface. And um, things are much more interesting on the superficial surface, but you're going to get a chance to dive a little bit deeper um, in terms of, you know, like Julia said, with Mars and also Venus and also Mercury. So these three planets that are very central and very personal that we're all always feeling, are going to um, get called into a sense of maybe, um, you know, just a deeper sense of self. Maybe you'll want to be a little bit more seeking of privacy, mm -hmm. seek, yeah, sorting through old memories, etc. So that's my take. What do you think, Jamie? Anything else to add? You know, I think it's so nice when Venus moves into the fourth house. Uh, because there's such a, a lovely feeling at home and there's so much cooperation and such a nice atmosphere. Uh, in the home life when Venus is there in the fourth house and this grouping of things in Virgo might you know uh, for you Gemini it might be about taking all of those ideas that you have about getting organized or sorting through your stuff and make them more of a reality so um, get up from Netflix stop binge watching Marie Kondo and do something about it this month a couple of other things to notice uh, we have a full moon coming on the 15th let me find that here in the calendar. And that full moon is going to fall in Aquarius in your ninth house. Yep, right there it is. There's that full moon in Aquarius. And the full moon tends to bring, um, you know, a mood, a sort of a prevailing feel to the days surrounding it. But Aquarius is uh, an air sign, despite that it has aqua in it. It still is an air sign, not a water sign. And, um, and so that mood can be very cerebral, very intellectual. And this can be very enjoyable to you, Gemini, because you share that quality of air 
with Aquarius. And so you might find this full moon to be stimulating and it might bring up some really big thoughts for you and some reevaluations of your very philosophy of life. And, uh, and that could be a contributor to some big growth. So the new moon is coming up on the 30th. And let's take a look at that. Here it is in the sign of Virgo in your fourth house. And look at that here at the end of the month. Look at that big grouping in Virgo. That's just so very homey and domestic for you, Gemini. It's going to be quite cozy at your house. So maybe uh, in the early part of the month, you know, when you're tooling around the neighborhood doing errands, you could be delivering invitations for everybody to come over to your house at the end of the month for a nice gathering. One last thing I wanted to mention for you, Gemini, is that this month Uranus, which is traveling through your 12th house, is going to turn retrograde. And that's going to happen on the 11th. The 11th is a pretty big day this um, year. So if your birthday is the 11th, um, it could spell a large year ahead for you as well. And um, Uranus being in your 12th house can bring the unexpected and it can come up from some pretty mysterious quarters. Um, there could be some secrets that, um, that just sort of erupt and uh, prepare to have your mind changed. So that's what we have for you today, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we're putting out another horoscope for September uh, at the end of the month. Watch for that, and we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.